How do I stay healthy in the springtime? What can I do for myself for allergies, asthma, chronic joint pain, especially in the spring? We're gonna answer that here in just a minute. And welcome to the Diamond Health Center. My name is Susan Camille. I am a licensed acupuncturist and clinical herbalist here at the Diami Health Center. And I want to talk to you today about springtime health. Now, usually this time of year, we have our spring cleanse and detox workshop. Obviously, we're not going to be having a gathering this time this year. And we also want to give people tools for ways to um, think about their health and practical tips and tricks for their health. So we're going to be doing the first, today's the first of the Spring Cleanse and Detox Workshop Series. We're going to be doing a post each week from elements from that workshop. So the first is today, which is the Chinese medicine approach to health in terms of a seasonal approach to health. And a lot of this information you can actually see in this book. It's called Staying Healthy with the Seasons. It's kind of my little Bible. I refer to it all the time, especially when I'm preparing for presentations. And we'll, we'll be referring to this diagram, which is the correspondences of spring. But we'll get to that in just a second. Let's talk about why it's important to cleanse and detox this time of year and what that even means. So from a Chinese medicine perspective, cleanse and detox means basically breaking the old patterns. Whatever might be stagnant or stuck, we want to change that. We want new growth and new birth and transformation and essentially health and healing. So we want to change the old patterns, but how do we do that? Well, springtime is a great time to capitalize on that because it's all about that. It's all about new birth, new growth, and if we look at nature outside, things are popping up through the ground with great force. If we look at our tulips or our bulbs or even the little spring onions in the grass, everything's coming to the surface. So sometimes what people might experience this time of year is everything's coming to the surface in their bodies too, like allergies, like headaches, like migraines, even eye issues. We might have red, watery, itchy eyes from allergies this time of year. So this is an important concept in Chinese medicine and that means that we actually do need to cleanse and detox. So we're going to talk more in future segments about what foods to eat and exercises to do and even herbs to take. But for today, I really want you to take away the seasonal approach to health and why that is important. So I'm going to refer to my notes here for just a second. Basically, the days are lengthening. We tend to have more energy this time of year because there's increased light. We can be outside longer, but we also notice a back and forth of the warmer and cooler days. We're really experiencing that here in Carbondale where the Diami Health Center is. It's almost like the season can't make up its mind. We see wind a lot. It's clearing out the old. We're setting the tone for the year. We're making that new garden or even putting seeds in a row to plant that garden and create that plan for the year. We might notice that we're doing our own spring cleaning in our house. So these are all things to, it's not necessarily any tips and tricks today, but more about a mindset and how we can have that spring cleanse and detox mindset of clearing out the old to make room for the new. The eyes are also associated with this time of year and the color green. Could you guess why? Everything's becoming green outside. It's a sign of new birth and new growth. So think about these concepts. Tell me what you think about it. And if you notice anything in your own life that you could apply more of this idea of spring cleanse and detox and setting that tone for the year so you're shaking off the sluggishness of winter, the tiredness of winter, and if, by the way, you're not able to and you feel tired and you feel allergied and you feel pain in your joints, that's a sign you do need to cleanse. So these are ways in which you can start, there are ways in which you can start to cleanse the body, of course, acupuncture and herbs and diet. And so we can definitely, we're happy to connect with you about your specific needs but wanted to give you some general concepts to kind of play around with and try out. And if you have any questions or you want future 
um, segments on this concept, on these concepts, do check out the Staying Healthy with the Seasons book by Elson Haas, and we'll also be posting a diag uh, pic picture from that, a, di a drawing from that that gives all the correspondences of the seasons, like the uh, wind and green and the element is wood, and you'll get a chance to see why. So we look forward to connecting more with you. If you'd like to make an appointment or connect more in the future about future events, once we start having in-person events, let us know. But check us out on Facebook, check us out on YouTube on Su at Susan Camille, and uh, turn on that little notifications button so that we can let you know when we post stuff, it'll go right to your phone. So we look forward to connecting and have fun with this concept and have fun with spring.